So this is the master mess or wedding central. So let's start with the Disney. So these are the wreaths that I bought from Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Plenty of them. They're just normal spring flower leaves. So if you want to take a look, all every single lantern has a Disney theme. For example, here's Up. So Up was made with like little pom-poms. We've got the Up House. We've got Paradise Fall Jars. And then we've got Doug in a little cone. It's perfect. And then we have, this is Peter Pan's shadow. So we gotta put lights in that to light him up. This is Mickey and Minnie. We have to put him, them in lights. I think I can turn them on. I'll have to turn them on at the end. So we keep going around. So all these have to be spruced up. So nothing's done yet. So here's Moana. So you see, we got like Hawaiian flower. Now he's hooked. And that looks really cool. And then we've got Tafiti's heart, the seashell, and then the ocean and the sand. So I'll show you how I'm gonna build one of these because we just got Lady and the Tramp stuff. So we got a table, chair, spaghetti, and two dog collars, and I'll show you that. So the next thing is, here is Mary Poppins. It says 17 cherry tree lands, a mailbox couple of crazy looking trees. We couldn't find a carousel horse, but we found this horse. Kind of looks like a carousel horse. And then a spoonful of sugar. And then we've got the medicine inside. Then we have Simba for the Lion King. He was pretty simple. Not too much going on in here. Just typical lion statue. A bunch of grass <laughs> and some sand and some pretty looking garland. And then Cinderella. This is probably my favorite. So here are the jewels it just reminded me of the live action cinderella just like the jewel looking garland looks like the butterfly inside we got a bird bar we got of course the glass slipper a little hydrangea and then a little pumpkin carriage right there snow white was pretty simple duh i did find like this little little keychain that had the sword into the heart kind of reminds me of the heart box so here is just a simple apple, and I guess I gotta cover that up, but we're gonna spruce it all up anyways because I gotta put lights in every single one of them. So I went ahead and spray painted some glitter spray on the apple, make it look a little bit more magnificent and mystical. Ariel's really simple. As you can see inside, we've got the candelabra. Couldn't do a three camp candelabra just because it would take up the entire lantern, but we've got the knife, kids, play toys, knife, fork, spoon pearls, a little seashell. That's actually Ursula seashell. I've got some starfish and some awesome looking anemone, anemone that's gold. And then of course, here's my all time favorite ever is Genie's lamp, Aladdin's lamp. It's just perfect because with Aladdin coming out, I found this thing on Amazon. Look how awesome this thing is. So if anybody wants a Genie lamp, this is it. It is beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, it's just the, the lantern, everything goes perfect with it. I think that Aladdin's lamp is my favorite. Sleeping Beauty was really hard to figure out because we could not get a, a spinning wheel until after May and we need it now. Some pink, we did some pink and blue. Simple like little bird on top of a little sp spool of thread. Eh, good enough. And then we have Princess and the Frog, Tiana. So we've got since it takes place in New Orleans during um, Mardi Gras. Got some Mardi Gras beads, some really awesome mask, and a frog, and some cool looking, I love these leaves. We've used these leaves so much. Then we have Frozen, which is, my mom has always had this stone right here. So it's on top of Amethyst, and it's a crystal castle, and I'm like, uh-huh, done. So here we go, we got snow at the bottom. We got this amethyst stone, the glass castle, and then these are all up within. So they're dangling like snow. And on the other side, we got some we got some silver versions of that leaves, of those leaves. To kind of show, you know, some foods and stuff. We got some Alice in Wonderland. Of course, we got the bottles that eat me and then drink me. We got some crazy looking moss. Got some pansies for the singing flowers. And now we've got 
some teacups. Of course, those were like some play teacups that actually matched everything. And I thought that's good enough. And then we have Brave. So I had to actually make like a little target out of one of those little coasters, you can tell. And I grabbed some charms of arrows and I chopped them off to make them look like they're sticking. So the arrows are down in there. And we got a little bar, little little bit of bar, and we got blue all over it to make it look like the wisps. Here's Peter Pan. Peter Pan is too much to go into this little one, so I'm gonna actually switch these two. So here we have a pirate ship, which is just a toy pirate ship we found on Amazon. I painted it, and then um, we've got the kiss here, and then the other kiss is in here too. The thimble, see, this is why I gotta move it. We got a feather, an acorn, pine cones, and a big jar of pixie dust. So we gotta actually find, we gotta find the thimble, thimble's in there. So I'm gonna switch this one out for Lady and the Tramp. So this is gonna be Lady and the Tramp. And then this one will be Peter Pan. Of course we have the wonderful Beauty and the Beast rose that I made last year. And here's Tangle. Tangle has to be resituated because I had to switch these candles, I mean these, uh, these lanterns out. So we have the flower, which is just an on sale flower I found. So I gotta rig that. We have a lantern here. This one's complicated because it opens our big and beautiful. And then we have a little lantern with the sun cut out. We have Pascal. And then of course, the Flynn Rider poster. I made these two ginormous lanterns for our sweetheart table and altar at our church. These were a lot of fun to make because I just bought big cardstocks and I just Put them together with tape and double-sided tape and staples and put these guys together. We are not lighting them. We're just going to hang them throughout the place. But I went ahead and spray painted them to give them that glow. See? I actually made a stencil of the sun. And I bought a pre-made stencil of the flower for just to go around it. But there's about 20 of these guys just to hang. And some are yellow to make it look like it's glowing and then some look like the Disney World Tangled Lanterns. But they're just gonna be there to hang out throughout the venue, but they really, they add a lot, so it's nice. And then my friend Wes actually made this. This is a Pinterest project I have been wanting to do since Pinterest was created. A lot of the ones that I saw on Pinterest were different lands from different worlds, like Hogwarts and stuff, but uh, since this is mostly Disney, I had him do mostly Disney places. So we got Agrabah, Pandora, Montanui, Arendelle, Neverland, Wonderland, Narnia, Corona, Paradise Falls, and Tatooine. You can see they're just regular signs that we bought from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and we just painted them to make them look like they were old. We didn't stain them or anything. We just painted them with like dark brown paint, added some white paint, and then added the gold, plain black letters. And it's in a pot, a regular flower pot full of dirt. <laughs> Is Scar and Mufasa. Cause they they like to kick each other off the stairs. You my little helpers. Out of control. Out of control little helpers. They have a bazillion toys and they still wanna play with a glove. Hi! And then of course my favorite helper in the world. Oh yes, P. Mm-hmm. Jealous. Jealousy. Jealousy. We do baby. Okay. Let me pour Jasmine out. What? Are they torturing me? <laughs> so, see, I relocated Peter Pan into this one so it looks much cooler. Now, what I'm gonna do to kind of elevate it, I've been using styrofoam. Okay. I've been using styrofoam. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit of bubble paper so I can go ahead and put. Laying the trance table here. So I need to paint a tablecloth too for that. Here's a piece of sticky moss. See, it's adhesive on one side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside. So I see, I'll take Lady and the Tramp's collar and put it at the bottom of the face. Tramp's collar. Get that little tablecloth made. Spaghetti in the middle, done. Let in the trap, boom.
there's the man I is marrying. So what's this for? Is this Instagram? Are you showing everyone all your amazing skills? No, this is for YouTube. It's for YouTube? Oh, yeah. we do it. <laughs> Ow, wow. <laughs> Stop biting my toes, dog. No. <laughs> YouTube. Oh, YouTube? Yeah. YouTube? Yeah. No, so that makes it better. <laughs> Hi. I just thought you were gonna send it to some random person. No. Now so it's like, okay. Wes is made these. Mm -hmm. Everything he freehanded every single one. Now watch, we threw some lights on it. Boom. My shoes sneaked again. And then Tori made all of the bouquets, so they're all in here. Everything's packed and ready to go out the door. We got trash cans to put the, <laughs> the wreaths in, and then all the lanterns are ready. The baby! <laughs> okay. And then, and then the complete tyrant. Okay, but look at this. She did all of this. Isn't it perfect? Colors and all. Yep, here's my team. Steven really didn't do anything though. He just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> the big head honcho project I've worked on for my wedding, it's the Cinderella backdrop that I'm gonna put in front of a waterfall that they have at the venue that has quit for six years. So I asked them, it's kind of ugly looking, the waterfall is. So I asked them, can I paint something to go in front of the waterfall? So here is Cinderella's carriage into the castle since I'm channeling most of my Cinderella into my wedding and each of these little stars actually have glitter on them. You can see, here we go, now you can see, but yeah. So, yep, that's it. I'm really happy about the castle. Um, I really don't like the driver. I think that's like my least favorite, but yeah, I like the horses, those are cute. It's actually funny because in the image from the movie, this, there's like a perfect mirror reflection and I'm like, I ain't got time for that. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, here is the big overall backdrop that I made. And I'm totally painting in my dad's race shop. Look, a race car, and then more race stuff, and oh, a couch, but yeah. <laughs> here is the Cinderella backdrop.